Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft, welcome. Today's video is about the week that was my one finished project. I've been working on it for a while, it's been a labour of love and I really enjoyed it. I have worked on some other whips but this is the one I wanted to get finished today and do a video about. So, a disclaimer, there is nude fibre art in my project. So if nude art offends you, I suggest you say goodbye now and we'll catch you in another video. Please do not send me emails or make nasty comments or refer to religious texts because it just will not penetrate my brain and you will be asked to move on. So let's get started. Now, I've had a lot of fun doing this, so I will explain. It is called Welcome to the Funny Farm. And when you see my project, you will realize why. It's in support of the challenge Hooker versus Hooker. Now, there are podcasters and subscribers doing this, about four of them for the month of October as a trial run. So basically, a hooker versus a hooker subscriber and they make a project. doesn't have to be the same project, but they make a project and then a panel will pick the winner. And there's a few doing it. Um, and other subscribers and podcasters can do a project and support them, but they're not the, in the actual challenge. So basically, a panel, pick the project that you have to do and the colours. So for October, the colours were brown, orange, yellow and red. And the podcast is doing it that I am aware of because I was watching, I think it was Mad Mimi's Live, one lunch hour at work, is Mad Mimi's Farming and Crochet or Crochet and Farming, Laura, the Alaskan Crafter Jan and Charm Grammy Lynette. I know they're doing it and they're part of the October challenge. It's a bit of a trial run. I think they're thinking of doing a, a, a make along next year with this idea in mind and sorting out and fine tuning it before next year. So when they said anyone could join and it was a wreath, I thought I've never made a wreath. Unfortunately, my local craft store was having a big discount week and the foam wreaths were on special. Now I've always thought they were a little exy, but they were a good price. So I went in and bought one and thought, I'll have a go at this. And then I planned out what I would do in the wreath. So it does involve nude fiber art. So the yarn I decided to use, I shot my stash and I decided to use Four Seasons, a spotlight yarn, Marvel, 12 ply and 8 ply, which is like full weight and three weight or DK and Aran, whatever terminology you use. And, and I stuck to the colours that have been picked by the panel. So now I've got to refer to my notes because there's a lot in my notes about the different tutorials and patterns I followed to accomplish my project. So would you like to see my project? Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Here you go. Welcome to the funny farm. So first of all, I had to learn how to cover a reef and there are different options you can do. And so I crocheted this cover in the brown. Now I followed a tutorial by Snooze in the Shed or Suze in the Shed. Now remember all the links to these will be in the description below. I then made some leaves, these big leaves down here. And this is a bag a day tutorial, autumn leaves, hashtag 344. I really like this. I've checked out quite a few leaves, but these were the ones I liked the best that I ended up using. I made a couple of others, but these seemed to fit in better with what I was trying to achieve. I then did garlands, and I did this one and this one. They're separate because of the way they're put on, I decided. And the garland is by Hooked Up by hooked by robin i've done a few of her tutorials and i found this the easiest and it um, gave me the appearance i wanted and then of course there's the mushroom lady my nude art this is the thick mushroom lady it's a paid for pattern on ravelry and i have shown her in a video previously and the chickens well this little chicken 
is by Sweet Softies, a tutorial. And she does a baby chick, but I took her little chicken pattern, made it in a bigger yarn and tried, uh, hopefully, and achieved it to make him into a rooster. And there you have it. Welcome to my funny farm wreath for autumn. I really enjoyed making this. It was a lot of fun. It was hard work for me. And yes, we had a result on what is classed as an amigurumi, what is a motif, and what is just a garland. So here goes. The final vote is in, and we've decided the garland is just a trimming or a dressing. The leaves are two-dimensional, so they're not amigurumi. Amigurumi should be three-dimensional, probably requires a bit of stuffing. And that is the final say from all my lovely subscribers who have provided information and comments on their opinion. I really like that. It was really great getting involved. So yes, you've resolved our discussion on what is really classed as an amigurumi. So these ones, my lady and my chickens, are going to be entered into this month's Amigurumi Wars which has been hosted by Manfred Makes, Sam. So make sure you check out her channel and see what the people enter for Amigurumi Wars. I've done a few in October considering I didn't do any in September and it has been a lot of fun. So there you go. In support of the Hooker versus Hooker Challenge, all the information I have, all the links to the channels, the tutorials, patterns, remember, will be in the description below. A few words on nude art. These works of art capture the raw beauty and essence of the human body. Some of the famous nude arts are Birth of Venus, Lady Godiva, Venus Rising, Statue of David, which I've actually seen, and Fallen Angel. So there you have it. Nude fiber art in my Hooker versus Hooker Challenge. Uh, I am really proud of it. I think I did a pretty good job for my first attempt at a wreath. Would I make another one? Probably, but not as much involved. I think I really went overboard with the planning. And yeah, I plan to send a picture to the ladies who have a special email address for Hooker vs Hooker Challenge. Guys, that's pretty much it for me for this week. As I said, I've worked on other whips that are way too big or not quite finished that I want to share with you. And for those of you who are interested, yes, I have started the MCAL and I am so far behind. I think the fourth week is out and it's nearly over and I haven't even finished the first clue. Anyway, it's been a fun week. It's been pretty busy at work and um, so there hasn't been a lot of crafting time. But I hope you really like my wreath and you see it for what it is, a piece of art. You never know. It might be as famous one day as some of those, like the Statue of David. Someone might think this deserves to be hanging in a museum and be fibre art. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and make sure you get into something new and challenging like I did. Bye for now.